What's up? Today, we are going to be changing glow plugs on the Humvee for the second time since I bought it because I don't know. I'm going to be using a special glow plug extraction tool. I highly recommend all of you with Humvees get this tool to make your life a million times easier. It's worth the $15 or whatever the heck it is. I'll show it to you in a second. Secondly, I like to address something. I can never underestimate how unbelievably stupid some of you think I am. Okay. I actually had somebody comment on one of my videos. And I don't remember what, I think it was just a random video. With that high lift jack, you're not gonna be able to open the hood. Guess you didn't think of that. I should not have to clarify this, but let's... All right, see this? It's a high lift jack. Yes, you are correct. In its current configuration, there's no way I could open the hood, because the hood opens this way. Let me just show you something completely revolutionary that has been invented in the last 800 years. This is a key, and you actually use keys on these things called locks. And then, this is a wing nut. You take the wing nut and unscrew it like so. You take the other wing nut. Then, you can take the jack, do a little curl, and it's off. Now if I was in a rush, that would take all of 20 seconds, okay? So Mr. Smarty Pants, I can open my hood. All right, here are the new plugs. I think they're like 40 bucks or 60 bucks off of eBay or something. Make sure you Get Hummer plugs, because they need to be 24 volt. Don't stick some 12 volts in there and... All right, they come in these little boxes. Oh yeah, look how new that looks. The best one to get are the Cascar Anti-Swell. I was running out of time, so I got these, and then they didn't come in anyway. Okay, so the gold plugs on the 6.5 and the 6.2 Detroit diesel are relatively easy to get to. You can, I don't know if my camera angle is correct, you can see them right there. Mine have orange glow plug boots, I guess that's what you call them. Just take your hand, here, let me get a headlamp so you guys can actually see. Is that better? You see the orange things? Take your hand, pop off the orange. Ah, oh, there's one, there's two, and then 
there's one you can't see on the camera behind the alternator. Oh, got it. And there's this one way back here. Oh, yeah. And then you go to the other side. Oh, yeah. that's one. Two. And then what you have to do is take off the doghouse cover. See this? This is what a Humvee is supposed to look like. Okay. Yeah. You take these, you unscrew them. little unit and yoink it off. Uh, yeah. Get out of here. Uh. And looky there. You can see the other two glow plugs. And two. Come on, you dog-faced pony soldier. Ah, there we go. Let me show you the tool. You see this? This is called a toolbox. All of you sissy pansy little boys probably have a truck with no toolbox in it because you never do any actual work. This is a tool bag. That was my nickname in high school. Screw the glow plug in there, you screwed this onto the glow plug, you screwed this in there, you hold this with a wrench, you take another wrench, you loosen this, and as you can see it uses the glow plug's threads and pulls it right out of the motor if it's swollen. If it's not swollen you can just take it out like normal. So it's pretty self-explanatory but you're gonna want a 3 8 socket. Everything on a Humvee is standard because it's American like American vehicles should be. So they start coming out with this communist. Here's the second one. Here's the third. Here's the fourth. Honestly, all these look really good. And I'm getting kind of pissed if I don't find any that look bad because that means I probably did all this for nothing. Side, you can pretty easily get to them by stepping around the front left tire here. If you're smarter than me, you fire up the truck and turn the wheels all the way to the right before you do this. But all those years of not doing squats have paid off finally. Fifth one is out. Sixth. Seventh. And number eight. So yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any swollen plugs. Which means probably an issue with my brand new $900 start box should be great really love spending $900 come out jeez but we'll put in the new glow plugs and see what happens so from here I think it's pretty straightforward I'm not gonna bore you with doing a video for 10 more minutes screwing in glow plugs you just do the reverse of what you just did and put them in. If you look in the technical manuals, I'm sure there's some specs on how tight they're supposed to be. Or you can be a man and just guesstimate it because it's not that hard and put them in that way. Well, rest in peace to my 10 millimeter socket fell somewhere and I don't feel like trying to get it. But, 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 all the glow plugs are in. So if everything's working properly, it should start now without making a giant smoke show out the exhaust right there. I don't have high hopes because all the glow plugs look good, but 
here we go. So, first thing is the wait light should stay on for a pretty long time. If it flashes or, or goes off quick, that means something's already wrong. Wrong key. All right, that's a good first sign. It worked! I did not expect that at all, but it worked. I don't know. It sounded a little rough at first, but it just cranked right over, dude. Barely even smoked. It's like 40 degrees out. It should smoke a lot if there's problems, so... I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Hope it was entertaining. Uh, and I hate doing this, but I really do hope you can subscribe to me. I'm trying to, you know, I make these videos a lot. And uh, I love doing it. I do it for free. But I hope you can like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Have a Merry Christmas.